Shopping for a notebook is more than just poring over spec lists. Whether you want a simple budget PC, a productivity workhorse, or a screaming machine for gaming, our video has the advice you need to find the best laptop to fit your needs. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 isn't just the best gaming laptop out there, it's one of the best laptops you can buy, period. With a battery that lasts more than 11 hours, the Zephyrus runs circles around its gaming-focused competitors, and even keeps up with more mainstream notebooks for folks who simply want a long-lasting PC for getting work done. A large part of that great battery life can be attributed to the Zephyrus super-efficient AMD Ryzen 9 4900HS, which also offers zippy multitasking performance for content creation and everyday productivity. That's complemented by a powerful NVIDIA RTX 2060 Max Q GPU, which can handle hot games like Doom Eternal and Resident Evil 3 at high-quality settings. All of that power is packed into a gorgeous 14-inch chassis that's among one of the thinnest and lightest in the gaming laptop space, making the ROG Zephyrus G14 an excellent pick for those who want a true portable gaming powerhouse that can last all day. Design-wise, the Zephyrus G14 is something of a small wonder. As gaming laptops go, it is extremely slim and light, cramming more gaming prowess into its 14-inch chassis than any comparable Ultrabook from the past few years. Measuring 12.8 by 8.7 by 0.7 inches, the compact Zephyrus G14 weighs just 3.5 pounds, making it the smallest and lightest gaming laptop on the market. The computer owes its light weight to the materials that make up its sleek body, with rigid magnesium and aluminum used for the chassis, deck and lid. Apple has revolutionized its laptops, thanks to its own Apple Silicon processors, which are replacing the Intel chips it's previously used. This chip delivers faster speeds than the Air's ever seen, and the longest battery life in any MacBook either. Not only does the M1 chip make the MacBook Air a multitasking fiend, but it also enabled me to play Rise of the Tomb Raider smoothly, and that's even with Rosetta 2 conversion of that Intel app. Apple's move to ARM-based processors look to reap massive benefits, and that includes the ability to run iOS and iPodos apps on your Mac. Plus, the MacBook Air's webcam is clearer and more color accurate than ever, thanks to signal processing. We're also still happy to see the Magic Keyboard, a great upgrade from the butterfly-style keyboard of the previous MacBooks. On top of that, you get stronger sound than you'd expect from a laptop this small, which support Dolby Atmos Audio, for better sounding movies and TV. Not only is this the best laptop for many if not most Apple users, it's a laptop that should have the PC world looking over its shoulders. If you were tempted to buy an XPS 13 earlier this year following its significant redesign but didn't pull the trigger, it's a good thing you waited. Now you can get everything we like about the new laptop with the added bonus of the latest Intel Silicon. The XPS 13 is admirably thin and feels satisfyingly solid, if not particularly lightweight. It measures 0.58 by 11.6 by 7.8 inches and weighs 2.8 pounds in the touchscreen configuration reviewed here. Versions without a touchscreen weigh slightly less, at 2.64 pounds, since they lack the touch version's Gorilla Glass 6 coating over the display. Dell says the edges are anodized twice to prevent scratch damage from repeated plugging and unplugging of peripherals. Opening the lid results in even more to ogle. The two color options include platinum silver with a black carbon fiber palm rest or frost white with an alpine white composite fiber palm rest. The palm rest is especially snazzy, and it incorporates a UV and stain resistant coating to prevent yellowing and discoloration. In an impressive achievement in downsizing, a 720p webcam complete with IR face recognition sensors is located above the center of the display. It offers average video quality for a laptop camera, which is to say that indoor shots are slightly noisy and fuzzy compared with the quality from the cameras of even a mid-range phone. Dell says it has improved the camera quality by adding a new four-piece lens and temporal noise reduction, but if you're planning to hold a Skype session in your living room at night, you'll still probably want to use your phone. The Razorbook 13 combines two well-known looks to create something new. There's no doubt that it shares its general style with Razer's Blade gaming laptops, chiefly in the squared off edges and logo. But instead of the signature Blade black and green color scheme, the Razorbook 13 borrows more from Apple's classic MacBook look. That is to say, this is a sleek, all-silver ultra-portable with a compact design. It's a bit thicker than its rivals, 
but it also boasts one of the smallest footprints among this very trim group, taking up even less desk or bag space than the famously petite MacBook Air. This increases its usefulness as an ultra-portable, perfect for squeezing onto an airline tray table or lap. Specifically, the Razorbook 13 measures 0.6 by 11.6 by 7.8 inches and weighs 3.09 pounds. While the Razorbook 13 isn't the thinnest ultra-portable you can buy, it has a major benefit in providing a USB Type-A port and HDMI output as well as the USB Type-C slash Thunderbolt ports that are all. You'll find a USB Type-A 3.1 port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, and a headphone jack on the Razor's left side, while the right flank is home to another Thunderbolt 4 port, a micro SD card slot, and the HDMI connection. Both Thunderbolt ports support USB-C data transfer and charging as well as display port video output. The Surface Laptop 3 likewise includes USB-C and USB-A ports, but only one of each. As for the display itself, the screen measures 13.4 inches diagonally. There are three panel choices, Full HD Non-Touch, Full HD Touch, and 4K Touch. The Alienware M15 III South African Rand is a powerful and affordable high-end gaming laptop, with a uniquely styled design that sets it apart from a competitive field. Some gaming rigs broadcast their mission with garish red and black color schemes and aggressive geometry, but the M15 has a softer appearance and minimal, unique design. The ringed LED on the rear, combined with accents like honeycombed ventilation and apricot RGB keyboard, adds some flair. It's equally sized to last year's model, coming in at 0.8 x 14.19 x 10.86 inches and 4.65 pounds. The chassis isn't metal, but feels like a good quality build and the softer deck plastic is pleasant to touch. The keyboard quality is solid. Next up is the display, which is propped up a bit higher than other laptops atop the hinge. The bottom display bezel sits at the top edge of a tall hinge, so the actual display begins a few inches above the keyboard deck. The bezels are glossy black and all thin, which contributes to keeping the laptop's overall footprint small. On our model, the panel itself bears full HD resolution and a 300Hz refresh rate. The latter is aimed distinctly at enthusiasts, though I think it's a better fit for any gamer than the 4K screen option. Even if you're not playing games far above 60fps, the ability to show extra frames is more useful than a demanding resolution at which few games will run smoothly. The picture quality is strong, and it gets very bright, 